Hey, what's up guys? This is Akshay from AS Learning and today we're going to see about the six libraries which you should learn if you want to become a master into computer vision. So as we all know that artificial intelligence is not just limited to machine learning and deep learning, but it has broadened its spectrum and currently other fields like NLP and computer vision are integrally a part of it. Artificial intelligence as a combined comes up with NLP, CV, deep learning. If you want to solve any deep learning problem, you, you will always find data either in the form of a text or in the form of an images. So when it comes to dealing with text, if you want to become master into NLP, check the video, video link given in the description. It is about the seven libraries which you must learn if you want to become master into an NLP. Similarly, if you go with computer vision, if, if you want to become good into computer vision, I personally recommend you the six libraries which you should know in and out. If you know the six libraries in, in and out, you are more than enough to solve any computer vision problem dealing with artificial intelligence. So the first library which I would like to discuss is OpenCV. OpenCV is a most used library when it comes to image processing. Along with that, it has lots of modules when it comes to dealing with problems like video analysis, 2D structure framework, 3D restructuring, object detection, camera calibration and all. So OpenCV is my first choice whenever it comes to basic image processing and stuff. The other library which I, which I, I would like to discuss is Tesseract. Yeah, so Tesseract is basically a tool in Python available for OCRs. So OCRs is Optical Character Recognition. So Tesseract is a library which is available in Python if you want to do OCR activities. It is basically built on the Tesseract OCR engine of Google. The next library which we'll be discussing after Tesseract will be PyTorch CV. So if you're using PyTorch for, for your deep learning activities, if you want to have any computer vision stuff involved in it, PyTorch CV is a framework provided by PyTorch itself. It is very useful for activities like image estimation models, then image segmentation, image classification and all. And also it comes up in build with models like AlexNet, ResNet, PyramidNet, DRNC, DRND and more. After PyTorch, the, uh, the other library which I, I would like to discuss is Matplotlib. So Matplotlib is one of the most basic libraries which any, which any data scientist should know. Whenever it comes to basic data visualization and stuff, Matplotlib is the first choice made by any data scientist. But Matplotlib is highly useful when it comes to visualization of the data, seeing its distribution and making sense of the data by visualizing it. Yeah, so the next library which we will be discussing will be Simple CV. So Simple CV is one of the most popular popular libraries for building visual applications. So whenever you have to deal with uh, image or video streams from webcams, mobile phones, Kinet, fireworks, Simple CV is one of the most preferred library. Yeah, and uh, the the sixth and last but not least is IP SDK. So IP SDK is uh, very much useful why because of its compatibility with the uh, architecture and the uh, processor its compatibility with the processor of the system and uh, one of the other thing which is very good in ip sdk is it is uh, highly computation friendly and uh, it is very helpful when it comes to dealing with processors and architecture of the system yeah so that's it guys these were the six major libraries which are used in almost all the computer vision applications the first one is OpenCV, Tesseract, PyTorch CV, Matplotlib. you can also include Seaborn here, Simple CV, and IPSDK so that's it with this video guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with all your python NLP machine learning deep le deep learning enthusiast and stay tuned to AS learning for more such amazing tech stuff. Take care. Peace out.